In this video, I'm going to go over the unboxing and assembly of the Harbor Freight Predator Post Hole Digger. This is gas powered, 52cc. It does come with a 6 inch auger, and Harbor Freight does also sell an 8 inch auger separately. Now, what I picked up today was the power head with the 6 inch auger in it, two cans of the semi synthetic fuel. So I'm not going to be using this very much. I want to put fuel in it that I don't have to worry about going bad over you know eight to ten months. And I did pick up the 21 inch auger extension. Now the auger that comes in this is only 31 inches long. So in my area, if I'm putting posts in the ground, they need to be at least 42 inches. So that's why I bought this 21 inch extension. Total price for everything. Now nothing was on sale. Uh, it seems like whenever I go to Harbor Freight to buy something that I need right then, it's never on sale. Uh, but something that I don't need, uh, that I think about, maybe I should buy that. It is on sale. Seems to always work out that way. About two years ago, I remember seeing this for about $179, $189. Well, it's currently June 2022. Current price for the power head with the 6 inch auger built in is $229. The extension shaft is $29, and the 50 to 1 premix fuel was $6.99 each. So total with tax was $295.88. So hopefully if you guys need this, you can catch it on sale. And by the end of the video, you'll at least find out if you're going to purchase this, uh, what does it entail to get it all assembled, what's in the box, uh, what you may need to complete your project. I will be doing future videos on the first time startup, uh, drilling some holes, and what I kind of think about the post hole digger. So let's get this thing unboxed and check out what's inside. Here's the auger extension. It's basically about an inch and a half diameter shaft. It's got a pin on that end, and it's got to have a male end on this end, which will go into the power head. And once again, this is going to extend your drilling depth about 21 inches. Uh, it is pretty heavy duty. Uh, the paint seems pretty thick, uh, possibly be powder coated, uh, but it is pretty thick. Um, pretty decent for 29 bucks, and a must have if you live in northern Illinois, Wisconsin, where you have to drill uh, below the frost line. So we'll go ahead and unbox the power head. So I want to show you this foam packaging before I get too far. This is very heavy duty foam, about three quarters of an inch thick. And you can see the power head right there, also wrapped in bubble wrap. Uh, so far, I'm very impressed at how well this thing is packaged. Uh, I did not think it was going to be packaged this well, uh, but so far, so good. All right, so I've got everything unboxed. Let's go over what's inside. Got this oil mix container right here if you want to mix your own oil and gas. It does come with a tool kit. It's like it's got an open end wrench, a couple Allen wrenches. And another wrench that looks like you'd get with a chainsaw and a screwdriver. And it does come with a pretty decent owner's manual. Uh, ran through that a little bit. There is a whole parts kit in there. And we'll take a look at the auger. Like I said the auger's not very long. Uh, the paint on it seems nice and thick. Uh, I looked over the welds. The welds are okay. Uh, they're pretty much about what to be expected. They're only about three quarters of an inch long welds. Not the highest quality auger, uh, but it'll probably definitely do the job. And now we have the power head. Uh, one nice thing, it does have a clear fuel tank so you can tell how much fuel you have in it. And there are stickers all over this thing. It says, you must clean air filter regularly or void warranty. You must operate properly or void warranty. You must run 15 minutes every three months and add fuel stabilizer or voids warranty. There's stickers all over this thing that says, you must do something or voids warranty. Uh, maybe that's just the way everything is going now. I'm not too sure. Uh, it does give you the cold start. You want to press the primer bulb three to four times. And overall general quality of this, 
You know, I kind of moved some of the switches around when I got it out, pushed on the primer bulb. It's actually a little better quality than I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, I've reviewed a lot of stuff from Harbor Freight in the last two years. A lot of their Bauer uh, power tools and stuff like that. And for the most part, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, some of their power tools that are like $49, I still have from three years ago and they still work great. Uh, now I did look on Amazon uh, for one of these drills and they do have some that are bigger like a 62cc and it may also come with two or three uh, drill bits uh, for about the same amount of money. But the reviews are mixed and like I said, the stuff I bought from Harbor Freight in the last two or three years really improved in quality. Everything works. I've never had anything break I've bought from there. So, figured I might as well support them again. Uh, they're local, so it feels a little better to give my money uh, to a, not necessarily a local company, but there are local people that work there. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how the auger attaches. Now to attach the auger to the power head, the actual power head has a machined sleeve on it and this is just going to slide right in. You have a pin that lines up right here and you're going to want to put this on here like this to make sure it does not vibrate loose. And if you have the extension, the extension is actually just going to go on like this. And like I said, it's going to extend your drilling capacity 21 inches, which makes you be able to drill about 52 inches deep. Let's look this over a little more in detail and it comes with an NGK spark plug. Now that is surprising. Most of this stuff that's made overseas has some spark plug name I've never heard of. This actually comes with an NGK spark plug. Now one thing I thought was after I use this for a while I'm gonna go stick an NGK spark plug in it because those are my favorite spark plugs. It already has one in it. Very impressed. Stay tuned for the next videos on what I think about first time startup and drilling with this. And then I'll do one in about six months on reliability and show you guys how it's working after that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.